Okay, so uh, they threw mama from the train on Friday. That's a whole story in and of itself. I'm actually, uh, I wanted to just make a quick phone video and uh, put it up, but uh, I'm gonna have to, uh, and I wish I had my GoPro. I got my GoPro all set. So uh, I'll be making some room videos. A uh, lot of stories. Uh, so just, uh, just want to document today's adventure. Um, there's a CVS extremely close by. It's a beautiful day. Now, as far as I've traveled on my uh, my walker, let's get a picture of the walker here. I've only done maybe 0.1 miles. <laughs> and look at this hill out here. It says relatively flat. I, I you know what I figure is I'm just going to be one of them uh, uh, homeless. You know, when I get tired, I'm just sitting right on the sidewalk and just resting. That's the only thing I know to do. But let's let's whip it around. This is the uh, the home to suites in Charlottesville because uh, the VA can't help me. Nobody can help me. Everything I got is in Florida. I'm just screwed at this point. I can't see the surgeon to get the Iron Dome off my neck until July 8th. I got to go get my blood pressure medication because they literally threw me out the door. When I got here, it wasn't even a handicap room. Oh man, the stories just go on and on. But here, let's get a, a selfie of me. So hopefully that's coming in pretty good for you, for the YouTube channel. So I guess, uh, you know, this is kind of a hiking channel. Let's get on the hike. I got some people coming, so I'm just going to kind of aim it off to the edge here. And we're going to get going. Don't worry, I'm not getting you on the video here. This is for YouTube. So here we go, the Home 2 Suites by Hilton. I just want to get the hill in this clip. Because yesterday I came out, it was another beautiful day. And uh, <clears throat> like I said, <coughs> I only made it up the hill. Here, let's, let's see. We got the we got the sirens going by. We're in downtown. That was me not too long ago. So there we go. We're gonna climb up that. Let's get going. So you're probably saying that cybersecurity guy. Why are you trying to kill yourself again? Because <laughs> I'm gonna break. I'm gonna break my fucking neck again. I made it up the hill. Uh, whoo! I'm taking a breather now. The reason I'm doing this is because I need my blood pressure medication. Now, can you imagine? They sent me out of the, the hospital. I can't name them. I don't want to slander them. I mean, you would think that the, the one thing that they would put in my pocket walking out the door would be the damn blood pressure medication. And I've already gone Uber to cross town to another CVS pharmacy. That's a whole story in and of itself. And then you say, well, why are you walking? Well, number one, the circulation is bad to my feet, so at night I I have a hard time sleeping, so I'm just trying to get some exercise. I got all freaking day to get, it's only damn point four miles or some kind of ridiculous, but look at here. Nobody even mentioned this. There's some sort of Salvation Army here. Now, one of the problems is I got is the Iron Dome around my deck. I got one shirt that I can wear right now, and I just ordered up with that Walmart order. Now, by the way, I'm doing this without blood pressure medication, so I'm dizzy as hell. <laughs> I, haven't, I haven't had any blood pressure medication in three freaking days. And believe me, my blood pressure is like probably 90 over 45 at the moment. But uh, so I can't, I no way I'm going to even try to climb them stairs right there. But I'm going to try to navigate away into this Salvation Army to see if they can get me a shirt, a button-up shirt, because I was going to order one from Walmart or Wrangler. 15 damn dollars just for a shirt that I'm probably going to wear what you know until I get the iron dome off my neck But anyway, let's get in there. That'll be the next clip <clears throat> All right, so I uh, I hope this video is going to turn out Salvation Army was a bust I walked around and all the doors are locked. I, I think this must be a place for uh, homeless to, to shelter because uh, it does say shelter the chapel's closed uh, It is a Monday after all I'm taking a break on some brick here. I, you know, one thing I will comment on when you're moving on a walker, and you can only move at about maybe 0 .0001 mile an hour. Every little crack just kind of stalls you down. A little dizzy at the moment, but here, let's get uh, just past this guy. 
You can kind of see him back there. I guess he's kind of working his way. No way I'm going all the way to the back of the building. So I'm going to continue on. I think what I got to do is go up another hill here. And like I say, it's a good hiking adventure. And then I'm going to make a left by this, uh, this steepled building and continue on to try to get to the CVS pharmacy. Let's keep going. So this is pretty cool. I, boy, I tell you, I wish I, I had my legs. Ooh, I'm just taking a breather here. But I'm going over some railroad tracks, but check out that tower over there. Isn't that cool looking? Woo. Anyway, I've almost made it to the end of the street. But since I'm going to document this adventure, I swear someday I'm going to write a screenplay about all of this. I don't think God put me through this to let me survive falling down some stairs without being paralyzed for life or, uh, uh, well, I mean, I got issues. I obviously, uh, I, you know, I'm still, um, I don't want to gross you guys out, but I am. I got a cath myself every four hours. So I got my cath and supplies down in here. Hopefully I won't need them. I don't think I'm going to be gone more than four to eight hours and usually I can hold on to it. Here's a guy, see we're in woke Charlottesville, here he is outside with a mask on. I tell you what, it's uh, I thought that shit was over everywhere you go here, COVID, COVID, COVID. God dang it, let me please God get back to the free state of Florida. But, uh, so anyway down in here I've got, I got a diaper on. Yeah, I don't mind wearing a diaper, I swear they're kind of comfortable, I don't know why. Uh, my mother, all the way up to her dying day, she would just strip right out of that diaper. I mean, to me, it's more comfortable than a pair of underwear, which are somewhat restrictive on me because I am having some water retention. Uh, you know, the other thing is I got a change of uh, pants and stuff because uh, uh, I did, uh, bowel movements are real important at this point. And boy, I tell you, I, I take constipation, metamucil, I mean, you name it, anything to get a bowel movement. I had one this morning. But just in case I end up pooping myself along the way here, I got everything I need. But, well, I got to get to a bathroom and then uh, or hide myself in a bush somewhere, throw one diaper away and put another one on and then clean myself up when I can get someplace. But anyway, let's go up here and make a left and uh, keep on going. I think we're going to be all day getting to the CVS pharmacy. Woohoo! By the way, lots of cracks. Uh, you get people that work on these sidewalks. They get caught on the rungs. I don't know how this video is going to turn out. I was looking at that monument, hoping there'd be a place to sit. But uh, looking here, it looks like I got to go down that. That's Water Street, which forks to the left. Uh, man, the camera's kind of messing with me because it keeps. I keep cutting super study mode on, and it keeps defaulting back off. And then, of course, I put it on one X, and it wants to go to point six X. I don't know what the hell's going on. Man, I tell you, getting across there, that was a challenge. All right, let's keep going. God, please give me back to the free state of Florida. That's what I've been saying for seven months. So here's a Salon Dunca, you know, and they, I've been telling you I need a pedicure because my toenails look like a warlock after two months in the hospital. And uh, look at their face mask required. I ain't got no damn face mask. I'm from Florida. God dang it, every freaking... I mean, nobody here's wearing face masks. What the hell? All right, damn woke towns. Uh, anyway, I've, I've been told that the CVS is this way, but the GPS wants me to go that way. I don't know. I'm just sitting down here outside and just taking it easy. Uh, lots of neat places here. I wish that uh, I had the energy to walk around. Boy, I tell you, at uh, .0001 mile an hour, it took me a while getting here. All right, let's continue the adventure. All right, I think I'm going. Man, I, I actually, I did almost puke back there. I don't know if it's because I got this thing around my waist. But this is really going to make me sick up. Black Lives Matter Boulevard. Man, if you ain't in a woke town here. Honorary. Oh, man, I tell you what. I don't know. Somehow in my mind, I don't think you'd see that in Florida. Holy moly. Let's just show you what I came up. All right, so I took a detour and... Man, I tell you, those are some rough looking buildings from the side. But uh, anyway, I'm resting here. Boy, I tell you, it's what wonderful finding places to sit here along the way, but I had to get that on the video. Black Lives Matter Boulevard. Maybe they'll come and burn everything down here. Leave a comment below. That'd be a good idea, wouldn't it? So I wanted to get this on the video, because <clears throat> you know, whenever I'm hiking, 
<laughs> I always try to show you the map, so look at here. This is where I was the last two months. Can I see my finger? There it is. Uh, there's UVA Hospital right there. There we go, get it in the center. So I'm here at this bus stop, and I guess the CVS Pharmacy should be right up in here somewhere. And then what I don't understand is if you look, here's Monticello Avenue right Where's my finger? Can't see it on the phone. Oh, there it is. Here's Monticello Avenue right here. No way. No way I walked that short a damn distance, but I guess it could be. And maybe I took a wrong turn somewhere. And there's 64. All right, so let's get on to the pharmacy, see what we see. So I wonder who lives in these places. Anyway, let me slip this around for a selfie. Oh, sorry. There we go. I got dizzy. Luckily, I found a step here to sit on. <clears throat> Supposedly, I'm real close to the uh, at a CVS pharmacy. We're getting there. Like I said, I got all day. Man, I tell you, it, it, it is one beautiful last day. I just wish it wasn't in woke Charlottesville and back home in Florida. But uh, I'm going to get up here in just a minute now. I kind of had this plan all along. I'm going to take the blood pressure meds and give it a half an hour and then maybe that'll keep me from getting so dizzy as I'm hiking along here so we'll just see how it goes so the question was do I really need the blood pressure medication because I did get dizzy and so it's uh, the systolic is 79 and the diastolic is 55 with a pulse rate of 95 that's pretty cool they got a blood pressure machine so this kind of answers the question that yeah, I, I kind of do need the blood pressure medication. In fact, somebody says, why aren't you passed out right now? <laughs> so I don't know. All right, I, I can't wait to put this video up on YouTube. All right, let's get going. I gotta, I'm going to take those blood pressure meds and then just sit for like a half an hour. So check this out. Doesn't this place have character with the, the Coke machine back there? I just love it. I don't want to get any fadenaces on the thing, but check it out. So I'm just getting me some ice cream and... Uh, and a pop right here. Let's just get a shot shot of the shop, the pop shop. So I'm just gonna hang out and even got TV. Life don't get no better than this ice cream. Eleven damn dollars. So holy moly! And then the copay. I gotta get my my prescriptions connected with the VA somehow. All right. Well, let's just uh, sit here. For, I gotta sit for a half an hour. I hope that blood, I'm gonna check the blood pressure again at the CVS pharmacy. Let's see what it comes up with this time. So I gave it in a half an hour on, on the blood pressure meds. Uh, it was 75 over 55. It's kind of what it looks like here. Isn't this kind of cool? You know, but I tell you what though, I, I still wouldn't want to live in the city. I'm not getting any faces on the thing here. But anyway, I'm going to go back in the CVS pharmacy. They're on lunch now. I did have a question for them, but unfortunately I won't get it. Check this out. Uh, something caved in here, but uh, I thought this was pretty cool. Chaps ice cream so let's go get that blood pressure see what we got so if you ever think your blood pressure medication doesn't work so we're at uh, 109 systolic pressure over 62 and that's after about a half an hour now unfortunately I'm not gonna get much video on the way back by the way the uh, the pharmacist here I don't want to get her face on the video but she's a fellow hiker we were talking about Sweet Bar College and Liberty Mountain and of course I told her about Otter Creek uh, by the way I got some good hiking videos actually they're gonna go up so uh, I don't know, I guess we'll add to this video. I gotta get back, man. I'm telling you, I'm not trying to gross you out, but I gotta get that catheter going. Otherwise, you know, I'm hoping I don't poop myself on the way back. Uh, if I do, maybe I'll try to get that on film for you, man. I mean, I'm telling you. So we, we got a big challenge and I gotta hurry back. Oh, by the way, two things that I learned. Um, those childproof caps, you just push in with the palm of your hand you use your other arm and then you turn and twist. I was trying to muscle them the old way. Uh, so that's the first thing I learned here. And uh, oh, and then the other one was when getting directions on the phone, you know, coming out here, I just said, give me directions too. And then I defaults to driving directions. And somebody said, no, ask for walking directions. So I'm going to try that on the way back and see how it works out. You know, I like to try to educate you on these videos. All right, let's get going. Oh, and by the way, they were watching Gunsmoke <laughs> in the ice cream parlor. So I thought I'd get one last look at this area. It is pretty cool, I have to admit. 10,000 villages, all kinds of different stores. Pretty vibrant area here in, 
in uh, this. I don't want to get a face on the video, but uh, just a look back from the direction that I came. So that's pretty cool. I was hoping to see another nail salon. I've been seeing two of them so far, and both of them are closed. So let's uh, let's get on back to the hotel. All right. So hopefully I'm getting my face in this. All I got is a phone, no tripod. Anyway, I just wanted to summarize the hike today. What we discovered: uh, blood pressure medication does work. <laughs> so, so that's good news. Uh, rehab is fucking worthless. I just hiked further today than I did in uh, the past two and a half months and uh, three of those weeks was in rehab where, hey Medicare, I don't think you better pay UVA hospital any fucking money for their rehab. I think I went up and down uh, maybe 10 stairs and they walked me around the treadmills a couple of times and that's all that I got out of that place. I just hiked almost a quarter to a half a mile because them sons of bitches ain't here stopping me. Ooh, man, I tell you that, with the low blood pressure, though, I admit that it was kind of dangerous. But on the way back, well, that's the second thing we learned was use walking directions versus driving directions. Because <laughs> the walk there was a hell of a lot longer than the one back. Uh, the third thing I learned is all the nail salons are closed on Monday. So, uh, But I did find Nada's. That's the one I was leaning towards. Uh, and that's real convenient. I can walk back there probably either, well, tomorrow I go see my primary charlottesville care physician and uh see what they say i think i need another paracentesis i gotta get up and cath myself uh luckily i didn't poop myself so uh and then i got my my uh, constipation medicine now along with the uh, blood pressure meds that's another thing why, how, why would rehab send me out with no damn medications and then call them in wrong they, they, i mean my god there was two accounts at cvs pharmacy plus the other one if I hadn't Ubered over there, you know, I would have never known what the hell was going on. In fact, I would have spent a ton more money in copays. Still trying to get my uh, pharmaceuticals hooked up with the VA. Well, that's it for this video. I hope you found it as entertaining as I did. Uh, first time out of the, uh, the hotel for any period of time. Uh, not as nails is a bit closer than the CVS, but, uh, and that's another thing. I mean, you know, they, they gave me these cloths to, to wipe the doodad with and all this stuff. They cost a fortune. So the woman behind the counter at CVS, she goes, no, you just use this uh, spray liquid. It's uh, actually got double the antiseptic powder, power, power, excuse me. She says, I keep one around my house for emergencies or just in case to sterilize surfaces and everything. It actually works better than alcohol was, according to her. And uh, that would be a hell of a lot better than what they gave me at the damn rehab place. And it don't cost shit. It was like 11 bucks or something, which is what I spent for a damn bowl of ice cream. All right, man, you guys peace out. Uh, let's do the mantra. Freedom, oh, freedom. Good to someday get back to the free state of Florida under the great leadership of Governor DeSantis. And if you're a damn Democrat, maybe come here to Charlottesville, uh, uh, Virginia. Uh, you can walk down uh, Black Lives Matter Boulevard there and... Uh, you know, when, when Roe v. Wade gets overturned, maybe uh, some of these woke um, college students or the Black Lives Matter might show up and just set that whole town or that whole boulevard on fire for you. And uh, anyway, peace out. Stay free.